I am, I've had three hours sleep and I'm going to do telly this morning and I just thought I want to get up with you girls uh, because I thought some of you who watch me on the other side of the world might be having a lovely evening enjoying yourselves and you could and then I'm here so anyway I'm going to do my morning routine with you um, and hope it will wake me up so the face it's had a bit of a late one I'm finding um, that the weather change affects me quite a lot because you know, there's a lot of central heating going on inside the house and I feel my skin is really dry. And I don't know if you're on the other side of the world right now, you're probably feeling the opposite, the summer's coming, but just any change affects my skin. So I'm gonna start with a good old scrubbing. I will not probably do a post on this lady. So I'm saying now so that when I put it up, you can see what it is. So nude is the vitamin C scrub. And I've used this before, let me just wet my face a bit. Uh, why it's good, it's the kind of thing you use when you don't have makeup on your face, when you're like me, when you're just like, bump. And it's got in it, it's a scrub. So I put it like that, sorry. It looks like a powder. There's no bad micro beading. It's all made of rice. It's got omega three, six and nine in it. Um, and a lot of vitamin C. So when you put it on your face, it rubs into this sort of, not a foam exactly, because I can feel the granules, but it's a nice wake-up. It's not as harsh a wake-up as Dr. Lancelot. It smells, it smells of rice bran, actually. I think, I mean, do we smell rice? Does rice smell? Federica, does rice smell? It smells a bit rice, and this is just a lovely wake-up. It tingles a bit. And that's kind of what I need. I've got about, let me just work out now, I've got nine minutes to get ready because this morning I have got telly. I do a morning show called This Morning and I do a bit of fashion on it. But far more importantly, ladies, my business is becoming exciting at the moment and I've got a lot of work to do for that. And I don't know, let me just wipe this off because I want to tell you about it. Hold on. Okay, so I wipe it off with water. Yes. Amanda is saying that she agrees with you and central heating is really bad for her skin. I know, it's a killer. It's a killer. So, I'm gonna do weird things this morning, ladies, where I'm gonna sort of, so now I've scrubbed it off. This is quite a quick routine. I now, because I haven't done any kind of mask for a week and I'll be on telly in an hour, I'm going to use the Andalou Enzyme Peel Mask. It might seem a little bit much for this morning, but as I rub it when I do it and I don't leave it on, it's just going to take off a bit of that dead skin cells. And I think dead skin cells form quicker when we have this dry heating situation. Um, so anyway, I am raising money for a business, all right? And I've been presenting to people all the time, going to investor meetings, trying to be a real grown up, feeling a sort of 20 inside a 50 year old, inside my 50 year old body, which is, which is great, but it's a lot of the stuff I'm talking about is very technical now and a lot of contractual things. And I have to, I have to really be awake. I have to really be awake. My whole body and brain has to feel awake to deal with this because it could be potentially the most exciting thing in my life, but scary, but exciting. So, that takes me on to vitamins. Now, I have a little vitamin routine, which varies according to what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna take you through the ones I do at the moment. I take alkaline infusion. And the reason I do this is I've got quite a lot of acidity. I'm very bad on my portions. I just sort of pour some in like that and uh, rub it around. So I take that, that's gonna go in there. Um, and alkaline's really good because I had, I had that taste of acidity in my mouth. And I think that as we get older, I don't know why, but I feel our bodies become more acidic. So I don't like to change too much what I'm eating. And I do eat um, quite a lot of chocolate, which I think has acidity in it. And I do smoke a bit, which I don't think is good for my acidity. So I take this to compensate. Oh. Trinilana says she uses tea tree oil. Oh. Lana, that's great. What do you use it for? You know, I mean, tea tree oil is fantastic for spots. Yeah. I don't know about change of weather, but it's a very good... Um, are you saying use it for alkaline stuff? Um, come back to me. Yeah. Um, 
Okay, another one. I've done vitamin C for many, many years. I'm obsessed with vitamin C. As you know, I put it on topically and I take it. And I found recently a very good vitamin C, which is this one, Lycospheric. I don't know if you can get it where you live. All right, I'm just putting it up there. I don't know if it's coming up back to front, but it's called Lycospheric Vitamin C. And the great thing about this vitamin C, it's unbelievably absorbent because you know how people say vitamin C goes in, you know, you put it in your system and then it comes out five minutes later. But this one, because of the way it's being delivered with a sort of peptide delivery system, sounds very technical, um, I'm putting 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C today and then I will probably do later today another 2,000 and I always do it, I'm doing that again, I always do it in this sort of coming up to winter period and I've got to tell you I haven't had a cold for about five years. But, so I take, during winter, about 3,000 grams of vitamin C a day. Oh. So she is using it, sorry, just changing subject, for um, burned skin. She had a bad burn from a hot iron and she uses tea tree oil. Tea tree oil, that's very good. I mean, I've, I don't know if that, um, it's working for you, which is fantastic. I'm going to tell you another oil, which I think is a very good oil which has helped a lot of people with scars and, and burns as well, is Rosehip Oil Trilogy. Um, and that's an incredibly healing oil, but I'm very interested to hear that tea tree is helping you. So that's good. I've got those little receding bits of my hairline, and some of you might have known in my video that I um, was doing those PRP injections. So I feel there's some little hair growing back there for any of you who follow that. Otherwise you can go down my feed and you'll see it. But what I've always done too is taken a few um, vitamins for my hair. And this one I'm doing is Philip Kingsley P24. No, PK4. I haven't got my glass on. I take two in the morning or two at night, depending on when I remember. And they are just, you know what, I don't know what's in them. And I don't know if they're helping. But I've been doing them for two months. Sure, wrapped up. I know. Oh. Finally, excuse me, what's my butt? Collagen and hyaluronic acid. Now, <sighs> hyaluronic acid, yes. So collagen, really good for anyone who has sort of stiff joints, but also obviously from a vanity perspective, collagen and hyaluronic acid together are people say can help with your with your um, skin. So I, you know what, I think it's a mixture of everything. Anyway, I'm gonna take off that mask um, and hope my skin's woken up a bit. The day is bright today and the sun is shining. So I think, as I'm so affected by the weather, hallelujah. Um, now, vitamin C I always put on as my routine before anything else, and have I run out? I'm going to do another one. Actually, I'm trying some products at the moment, and I'm quite liking this. So I don't know if you've heard of the Hero Project. I've only tried it three times. It's their vitamin C30. It's a really... How, how, do we know how much it is, Federica? Um, it's, I, think they're quite reasonable. I think it's very reasonable, and you know how I'm obsessed with vitamin C and I put it on before anything else. And this is a vitamin C, but it, it's an oil vitamin C, which is quite interesting. It's got a tingle when I put it on. It's got a high percentage of everything you need in vitamin C, but it's obviously, what, what's that? 39 pounds. 39 pounds. So my other CE Fuleronic from SkinCeuticals I love is quite a lot more. So that's interesting. I'm trying it for now. I think it's a very, I think it's a really good product. And the Hero Project, what I love about them is they have only four project, products. And they're sort of making, is it four products, Frederica? Yes. Yeah. And they're making slowly, incredibly intensive ingredients in each product. So there's one oil, there's one for retinol, there's one for glowing, there's one vitamin C-ish. Love it. Following them closely. And then my routine at the moment is a weird one. It's not a cheap one. But Tata Harper, I take two drops of their brightening serum and then I mix it with, I'm on a weird wacky one here, the Kahina 
brightening serum, which were those lovely ladies in Morocco who have the argan oil, and this woman from New York um, sort of funded their collective farming and supports, and it's like a sort of microfinancing project, and then she gets the oil and she makes this very beautiful serum, brightening serum in America. But the combination of the two wakes up my skin. So I'm going to do a very quick, you might wonder why I'm doing this. How long have I got now? Five minutes, okay. I'm on the home search, ladies, because I'm going to do my makeup really quickly, and I think my screen is a bit, it might fall off. Okay, so my morning wake up when I have time, a little bit of scissoring over my frown lines, because I frown at night, so I just scissor around my brow where I frowned and up and down. I just lift my cheekbone, I push up the cheekbone, yeah. And quite a few people are asking about dark under eye circles. Oh my God, yes, because I got them, haven't I? Well, ladies, watch now. Watch now. Glad you noticed them. They're really there this morning. Okay, I've just got to put a moisturiser on first. What am I going to do today? What am I going to do today? Oh, you know what I'm going to do today? Yes, Dr. Hauschka Revitalising Day Cream. I love this company. They've been around for years. They started in the 30s in Germany. They're a holistic, organic company. Their QDOS has never changed. They do a number of products I love. Their tinted day cream is fantastic. Um, and their smells are very medicinal, herbally, florally. Um, so, there. Skin all prepped and a bit woken up. So, should we get on to those? I'm starting with... The killer product, but cure. It is a killer product. We know it's a killer product because if anyone's seen on my, I think I did this when I was doing my hair video, but it's a concealer has had a baby with. Um, okay, are we there again? Okay, so there. All right, it takes away half of it. But for those of you who don't want to spend ninety pounds, which is a killer, which is a killer, I'm going to go to my favourite concealers. Okay, so there's lots of things I like for dark circles. NYX, I love for dark circles. It really works. The Well People, if you're organic, I love for dark circles. If you've got a bit of cash, Chantecaille, um, I love for dark circles. So any of those work. Um, and then if you have a really dark circle corrector, I'm going to show you this product from NYX, actually because it's interesting and it's available to everyone. It's not very expensive. It's slightly apricot in colour and apricotiness takes away that blueness underneath. So you put that on first. There, I'm just going to put that on first underneath my dark circle. And it sort of just takes off the edge of the blueness. Do you see? But now I'm going to then finish off with just a concealer on top. So I'm going to do the NYX which is, I don't know which colour it is, I'm going to give it to Federica so you can see. Okay, darling, there you go. I've just realised I'm very squint, my mirror is, my morning mirror is squint, my phone is a bit squint. Okay, so, underneath there, and dark circle, just about gone. Just about gone. Okay, uh, now I'm going to do a tinted moisturiser today. In fact, no, I'm going to do my, oh, sorry, I'm really into it my um, effortless breathable tinted uh, primer from Sunday Riley because it's got a nice little bit of silicon in it and I'm going to go on TV and this is the base I'm going to use and then when I get to the TV centre I will put on more makeup but I'm just gonna because in the morning what I do is I go there and I meet the ladies I'm going to make over and I don't want to I don't want to shock them with my first morning face so I do put some makeup on uh, then I'm going to do some mouthwash and whilst I do the mouthwash I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do I'm going to do um, tart berry blush mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trini, many people are watching you from everywhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm in Stockholm Mm. You know what I'm saying, don't you? I put too much bread on. There is nothing, you know, my boyfriend.
friend introduced me to the concept three years ago of mouthwash. It's so satisfying. It really wakes you up. And, um, and I feel now it's funny. It's the thing that most wakes me up. Okay, so I'm sort of done. I'm done enough for me anyway. And I'll finish off with some because I've got my lashes on. So I'm just going to do some Talika eyelash gel like that. And I might do, just because you're here, ladies, and you asked me the other day what I'm doing on my eyes, but it's going to take too long, I think. I'll do a tiny bit of this. Hang on, I'm going to do, no, I'm going to just do a quickie. I'm going to do a quickie wiki. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Because it is good, and I'm going to show you. Maybelline, okay, just to really have a go at a label that's just a little bit here. Just to give me a little bit of a wake up. Is that even working? Maybe. I think actually I need a bit more of this. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of that. Okay. A little bit of brown. I will give it to Federica in a second, but it's a very nice quick wake up, this uh, brown from, um, I think it's from, is it from Maybelline, that darling? Um, Max Factor. Max Factor. It's just a really pretty colour and I find it difficult to find very nice eyeshadows in inexpensive browns. But it just pops my eye a bit. Um, okay, I'm going to get dressed now. I'm going to get dressed. So what am I wearing today? We are doing tailoring on this morning. And I find tailoring sounds really worky and boring. So I'm going to do my Zara top, um, which I think I put on the other day. Oh my God, it's like I got it back from... Okay, I'm going to wear the Zara top, but it looks quite nighttime-ish. And then what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to put on this really great gilet from Zara that I love because I think it's a cool way to do tailoring. Do you get my hair a bit better? People from Australia are loving that you're finally live while Sarah wakes. Oh, God! So I, you know what? Last night, as I was going to bed, I said to my man, I said, I really want to do a Facebook at 7.30 in the morning get up for it because I feel I've got these ladies who are in Australia and uh, the Far East and I wanted to just say hello. So I'm so happy you're awake and watching because I just thought you're so supportive and loyal and, and come and uh, check out my videos and, and you're generally asleep when I'm awake. So it's very nice you're here. I'm sorry if also the Zara clothes are not available in Australia. Lots of you um, comment and say, oh, Zara don't have it because it says summer collection. Um, so I, I, that's so frustrating for you and I feel for you because like to watch things that I couldn't get would frustrate me too. So I hope that with, um, with the kind of makeup y stuff that, uh, that they, you can get them. I'm going to finish off with, by the way, Lipstick Queen. I brought out such a nice lip balm and it's, uh, Federica will give you the colour, but it's just a, a great consistency. Gives incredible hydration. So it's not a lip gloss, which is going on top and just giving you an instant fix, but not long term. This actually, I feel, hydrates my lips. So there's that, Federica's going to tell you the colour. I've got to find my shoes. Okay, we really have to run. Are they there? Yeah. Where? These ones, where are you wearing? Yeah. I'm wearing my, my mad Prada platforms. So to give you an idea of my tailoring outfit today, I'm in my culottes from Zara. There we go, culottes from Zara. My, my metallic top, because I can't stop wearing metallics. And this great Zara gilet, which you could wear over a big jumper, you could wear over a jacket. It's got a nice little bit of detail here. Um, still got to work on my hair. Ladies, thank you for watching. Have a superb day. And if you had a glorious day in, in, in Australia, have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you soon. Now I've got to turn off, yes.